Hey, you know what? It's good because everything is awful anyway. And we have uh, Glenn Kirshner on uh -huh. to tell us exactly that. Because, right? Because he thinks justice is not coming, at least in the case of... Right? Was I right to wake up on the amount of Carnation Instant Bitch I was yesterday? It's just delayed. Okay. Justice will be coming. Okay. It's just a little... All right. You're premature. Yes. Thank you. And thank you. And you need to delay it a little bit. I have a lot of man meat to help me. Oh. I thought I had glaucoma. Oh, the lights just came on. Okay. Now we can see it clearly. It's outdoor bike day, isn't it? I thought it was a really bad day. <laughs> yes, this is why I'm wearing fluorescent bike clothes. And I do I have a man meet Wednesday for you, uh -huh. despite our, our technical, uh, you know, troubles right now. We have uh, Bob Seska, Glenn Kirshner, Malcolm Nance, and Hal Sparks. Hump days with Hal. Legendary Comedian Week continues. Paula Poundstone on Monday. Mm -hmm. Louis Anderson yesterday. Hal Sparks today. What more do you need from us? You're going to have two comedians tomorrow. Can you? What do you need from us? Being able to hear us, perhaps? I don't know. Some people can. Really? Where can we're, we're on TV. We're on TV. Yes. Oh, hi, Free and, Speech TV. And Political Voices Network. So if you okay. go to stephaniemiller.com and scroll down a little bit, you can see where we are and uh, you can see our, our happy faces. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. But just not other okay we'll just oh, leave it there uh, and, and you know your free speech tv app on apple tv or roku okay yes oh, roku there we go all right um yes i R rachel maddow was also on a tear yes about w what the with the justice department mm -hmm. so i could not get glenn kirshner fast enough we couldn't get him yesterday <laughs> so he's here today because i i just it is i and i get it because i'm the happy clappy that's why people tune in yes yes and it's i it it really is it's depressing right now between like everything that just happened yesterday mm -hmm. yeah right so that what was the story the january 6 commission of course has a giant trump size hole in it uh -huh. right right it's everything because yes the, right here brian Kloss tweets i think people still haven't fully come to terms with the dystopian realization that the political base of one of two major u.s political parties supports authoritarianism and doesn't inhabit a fact-based reality except Exactly. Yeah. I don't think the Founding Fathers uh, thought of this. Um, our friend Joyce Vance, this is a perfect point, just, just for a moment on January 6th. She said, this report is as if we figured out how planes were able to fly into the World Trade Center and the Capitol without determining who flew them. Right? It's true. She's, she's a smart, she's a smart world class. She's well, and, a smart legal lady. And, and the gamble I think McConnell is taking right now is he keeps saying, oh, these trials, these trials. These trials are going to take years to get right. through, to right. get to the of bottom course. of this. And we're not yeah. going to know the full story about where yeah. it goes up the chain. They're just, they right. want to focus on the, the guys that were arrested because they were wearing right. cosplay. Because it in implicates the not just their whole party, the leader, quote unquote, mm -hmm. of their party, their members of their party, their entire party, really. Yeah. And so it, it's, but I, I don't, was anyone shocked that infrastructure talks? What did we say? What did. Do we say they're going to do this every time yeah they're not negotiating in good faith we do this thing we negotiate we weaken stuff mm -hmm. we lower the you know money we blah 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 and then right they go they and they budge not at all and none of them will vote for it anyway right so here we are right with, with infrastructure mm -hmm. i i don't okay i know some people feel some glimmers of hope that i don't i don't even understand what's happening now there's two tracks one of the tracks involves cinema and mansion, though, so I don't even know what that's about, but that the part of it could be passed through reconciliation in another part in a bipartisan way. I don't know. It, the sausage is ugly this yes. morning. Yes, this is why... Yeah, this yeah. is why politics is called making sausage. Right. Because it's right. Gross. ugly. It is it's ugly. gross. Ugly. Lots of... Beaks. Ugly. Ugly. Okay. Beaks and feet and... Round up. Okay, so I don't. We'll have to ask Glenn. I, as I said yesterday morning, it's above my pay grade. Yeah, I get that it's about protecting the office of the presidency for the future, but th this is just wrong. It's the wrong decision legally mm -hmm. to continue to protect Donald Trump from a rape ac accusation, and it was not in the scope of his job to basically call her an ugly whore that he wouldn't rape. Right. I, I, anyway, I just I I, I okay. Oh, and there's a new coronavirus variant. 
on the rise in the U.S. <laughs> Delta. Just as right, a lot oh, of yeah. Republican governors are working mm-hmm. again, right? Are trying to are trying to say uh, you you can't require vaccine everywhere, and actually penalizing companies that are requiring vaccine. Yeah. Like who's the cruise? Wait, another cruise line did say which one? Carnival, I think, said passengers do have to be vaccinated, but whatever one in Florida to please Ron DeSantis said, oh, okay, it's optional now. You can get on our floating Petri dish with no right proof of vaccination. So yeah, this is, uh, it's a little bit of a depressing morning. That's why I'm wearing the brightest possible shirt. I am blinding myself with my bike shirt. At least people can see on TV. Yes. <laughs> this is the level of danger America is in, girl. That's a... The highly transmissible Delta variant is what they're calling it now of COVID is quickly spreading throughout the United States. The Delta strain was first identified in India, accounts for 6% of new infections in the U.S. It has already become the dominant strain in the U.K., accounting for 60% of their new cases, raising concerns about a planned reopening that some experts fear could launch a third wave of the pandemic. We cannot let this happen in the U.S., Fauci said. Uh, Two doses of Pfizer. um, uh, um, I, I assume the other, whatever, two are effective against the Delta, right. yeah, the Delta variant. But he also warned that not just one, you have to get your second dose. Yep. Um, yeah, Biden tweeted, folks, the Delta variant, a highly infectious COVID-19 strain is spreading rapidly among young people 12 to 20 in in the UK. If you're young and haven't gotten your shot yet, it really is time. It's the best way to protect yourself and those you love. Uh, this is what I was afraid of, right? Like India was doing great yeah. and then they reopened too soon and had the big festivals and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just, we have so many Republican governors absolutely working at cross purposes, yeah. right? I mean, absolutely. I, I just am like, are they trying to kill people? I mean, what is... Well, it's like they're trying to kill the COVID recovery is what they're trying. Right. It's like it's like they're trying right. to throw a wrench in Biden's same, same success. Thing. They don't want to know who's responsible for yeah, right overthrowing the United States government, right? Because they know it's they're implicated in it. it, it I, exactly. They don't care if people die as long as they can go, oh, look, but Biden's doing a bad... Apparently, wait, oh, is, what's this latest delusional story from Captain Lady Pants? What, his golfing buddies fear his nutty obsession with reinstate will, will doom him, but he thinks the reporting on Dr. Fauci's emails will put him back in the White House. What? I read his email. Like, what? <laughs> It is just like, oh, this is it. Like that doesn't it doesn't work that way. He thinks that he he's looking for anything he can find to right. exonerate and take the blame off of himself, and it is all right. his fault. And if again, we keep saying if it was a lab leak in China, it happened on his watch. Yes. With him saying how right. how transparent with him vouching for China's when transparency pulled, and pulling our yeah. people out of Wuhan that could have given us a heads up mm-hmm. about that. It's just the whole thing is so I'm like, oh, this is the gotcha? That it might be a lab leak. Like mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, one of his golfing buddy. Imagine being one of those. Oh God! Damn. He said to go around. They one of them said to go around saying uh, some magic fairy is going to put you back in the White House in the middle of someone else's term is just nutty. It's not nice to say that about Lindsey Graham. But my point is, <laughs> it. This is just the kind. But this is what the, this first tweet I was reading that we're just dealing with an entire group of people that is lost, <laughs> detached from reality. Yeah. That is not dealing. I, I just I don't know how you even negotiate with that. But for instance, this new study, how about this? They're always saying like, oh, because of the economy business, we got these lockdown. So lockdown states like California did better economically than the looser states like Florida, according to new COVID data. Uh, we know this out here in California, yeah. right? It, lockdowns are no exception. One one assumption many Americans seem to make is that more government limits uh, um Limits gatherings, mandates masks, restricts business activity, and advises residents to stay home. The more economic damage it will do. One of the loudest of those voices, Ron DeSantis, who's forcing to get people on cruise ships unvaccinated. Yep. Um, some experts have quietly advanced a counter argument. The economic activity is mainly affected by the rising and falling severity of the pandemic it's excel, uh, itself. Um, the more the virus seems to be under control, the more your people seem to participate in the economy. Huh. What a weird idea. Weird. Yes, when people feel safe, mm-hmm. then they go, mm. okay. A new report um, says not only did, did big states with more stringent COVID measures uh, end 2020 with fewer infections per capita, they also tended to post better economic growth numbers last year than states with fewer restrictions. In other words, California, uh, California's economy, economy actually fared better than Florida's. Um, yeah, California had more stringent interventions and a lower infection rate than either Texas or Florida. 
two states to which it's often uh, compared. California performed better with respect to GDP than either Texas or Florida. Second, the same pattern showed up across all big states. On average, the ones with more stringent interventions had better health com outcomes and better uh, economic outcomes. I just, I just, I can't, I don't. Ah! Yeah. Right? It's a lot this morning. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's a lot. Yes. I, I, okay. And there's still more to come. <laughs> right. But Hunter Biden called a white guy the N-word somewhere. And so Supposedly. someone on Fox. Uh, yes, we don't even know. He called a white friend an N-word. I don't know. In a something. Did I mention, too, that Hunter Biden is not president? And uh -huh. I don't. Okay. This is going to ruin his career as a president. So Leo Terrell went on Fox News on Hannity and said the Bidens are the Klan family. The Biden family is the Klan family. And Joe is the imperial wizard. Uh -huh. Based on some text, something, something, supposedly crazy. Called a white guy. Has a, we I used to work know. with Leo Terrell. Remember? Yes, that? we did. Um, yes, we certainly did. Was he did. always like this? Yes. I can't remember him. I being believe that this he was. Bad. Yes. Okay. Okay. <sighs> All right. Uh, as I mentioned, I. Oh, and also, uh, Joe Biden or Joe Manchin remains unswayed despite meeting with all the civil rights leaders who he said he had a very, very good meeting with. Mm -hmm. Did he change his mind? No. no. He is for the John Ly Lewis uh, voting act. But will that pass uh, with the filibuster? No, no, it will not, which he knows. So he is against H.R. 1 that I believe almost 80% of West Virginians are for. Yes. The For the People Act. Mm -hmm. But he's for the John Lewis Act, which he knows. By the way, has anyone told him that Mitch McConnell blew up the filibuster to get Supreme Court judges? Yes. Okay. He knows. I'm just reviewing. I, yeah, I think he's okay with that. He knows. Okay. So, <laughs> oh. Joe Biden's infrastructure talks. This shocked. I was shocked. His infrastructure talks with Republicans collapsed. Um, Shelley Moore Caputo, Republican of West Virginia, said, I spoke with the president this afternoon. He ended our infrastructure negotiations. Right, because he came down, I don't know, a good... A, a levity bajillion. Eleventy bajillion. And they're like, how about a penny more? Or something. It was close to that. <laughs> Democrats are pursuing a two-path proposal uh, focusing on new talks between a group of senators from both parties at the same time. Chuck Schumer says they are pursuing reconciliation. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It might be some ugly sausage at the end of the day. I don't know. It may be well be part of the bill that will pass. will be bipartisan. Part of it will be through reconciliation. Uh, he said we're not going to sacrifice the bigness and boldness in this bill. Well, I don't know how they're going to accomplish that. Okay. Did it, was there anything else? Did I did I miss anything? Uh, major right voting rights? No. Okay. Says, uh, uh, okay. A, a cicada attacked uh, Joe Biden this morning. Did oh the locusts are here yes, already? Yeah. Oh great, a new strain of COVID and the locusts are here. Yes. You say? Oh, you know, and I wait. Did you see this story? What, what? could go, what could go wrong here? Right when there's a new strain of coronavirus attacking, Russian scientists have revived a 24,000-year-old worm, and it's reproducing. Yeah. What? I've seen this movie. Uh, I know, right? Yeah. Where the scientists go, this will be fun. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Nothing bad. Russian scientists have revived a 24,000-year-old microscopic worm that has been frozen in Siberian permafrost, and now the creature is reproducing. What could go wrong? Oh, I the creature is called a rotifer. Oh. Has a brain and everything, and oh. can reproduce without a partner. Oh, which is exactly what it did after being revived, according to the scientists that fed it out, who who uh, thought it out and fed it. Why, uh, why, why would you feed a twenty-four thousand? Uh, well, but no, old wait, worm? it's worse than that. The team published their findings this week, which apparently included experimenting on the poor worm by slowly refreezing and unfreezing it. Oh my God! Now, now you're now, the, you. the author said. What being thawed out after 24,000 years and then messed with by Russian scientists does to a worm? No one knows, but now it's pissed. Now it's pissed. And it's reproducing on its own. You could learn a thing or two from the worm if it can, if it can reproduce on its own. Wow. Wow. That's, it's a lot this morning, It's called parthenogenesis, by the way. Oh, 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 thank you for You're that, welcome. Chris. Thank yeah, you for reproducing that. Reproducing without okay. a Okay. Yeah. Without All right. I, I'm going to I'm gonna need a lot of man meat. I'm uh, going to yeah. need, okay. We're going to need a lot of Big, strong men. We're going to need a lot of, not, a lot of bourbon. Okay. I'm going to need, okay. <laughs> Bob Seska will be first <laughs> in my good. lineup of, right. ow. Then Glenn Kirshner, Malcolm Nance, Hal Sparks, all coming up on The Stephanie Miller Show. I'm 
mean, do we even need to do a commercial for the step store? I mean, the shirts are flying off the right. Look at this. Look at it. Look at that. Get your face up. Look, look. We have, and we have them for Team Pfizer, Team J and J. We are all Team Vaccine here. We have amazing, right. and you can get it on everything, right, Chris? Not just shirts. Bath mats, shower curtains. You can get it on art, a clock. You can get Duvet. a sexy bomb on a clock. We have Stephanie Miller swag. We have sexy liberal swag, and of course, all the the vaccine shirts. Get it now, StephanieMiller.com. We.